Doctor, you can talk about astaxanthin's role in inflammation. I've read some other things where it can possibly yeah. help that, and that's a condition that leads to a lot of other problems. Yeah. Uh, again, I, I'd like to make, before we talk about that, a, a general statement that astaxanthin is not the miracle drug. Okay? It is, it's not a drug. It's a natural uh, supplement that comes from algae, and it doesn't cure anything. Okay? Uh, it is an, it, it's a protective uh, material. It, it, however, has been shown to lower C-reactive protein. And C-reactive protein, for the layperson, is just a marker that doctors can find in your blood that, that shows uh, that there's inflammation in your body. And I believe all carotenoids, again, the one that I'm not a big fan of is beta carotene, but uh, uh, other carotenoids can reduce C-reactive protein. Astaxanthin definitely does. This has been demonstrated many times, and that is definitely a good marker for inflammation. Now, let's add one more thing to that, and that is this, that if you have membranes that are not flexible, if you have joints that are not flexible, if you have membranes in your eyes that are, that are oxidized and they become brittle, if you have membranes in your vessels that are brittle, then you will have more inflammation because your body's natural defense is to attack things that become used up or are inflamed in some way. So astaxanthin is a dual action mechanism. It reduces C-reactive protein. There has been a publication, too, that it is a COX-1 inhibitor, not a COX-2 inhibitor like uh, uh, Vioxx was or Celebrex. But if it is, it's not aspirin. It's not a, you know, it's not a potent COX-1 inhibitor. You don't take it because of that. You're taking it to protect membranes. You're taking it to protect your eyes, your brain. And, uh, uh, you know, it does, it does reduce inflammation in the body.